Let's look at the purpose of conducting a literature review. I have taken an article that has been published. Uh, it's looking at the stakeholder power and the corporate characteristics and their influence on social and environmental disclosure. When a literature review is conducted, the literature review is conducted for the entire study. That's the first thing. And when literature review is conducted, there are four purposes, four aims in that. First is to avoid reinventing and building on others' work. We have to demonstrate that. Second, we point to specific attributes or aspects to look at in the study. Third, we develop a conceptual or theoretical background using the literature. Fourth, we evaluate appropriate research techniques. This is in the context of research problem. I'll take this example to illustrate this. So the research problem was to find out the influence of corporate characteristics and stakeholders power on companies making social and environmental disclosures in annual reports in China. Now the study showed using literature how they avoided reinventing and building on others' work. That's the first aspect. So they said that others have looked at the influence of corporate characteristics and disclosure, but there's no clear, clear direction or evidence as to the relationship. Second, they said that Past evidence shows that stakeholders can exert power on companies. Third, they said most studies conducted were in developed countries, and this study is located in an important emerging nation, China. Fourth, they said that they are looking at the disclosure from the stakeholders' perspective, what stakeholders think about disclosure. So that's how they avoided reinventing and building on others' work. Second, they pointed to specific attributes they wanted to look at in the study. So there were two aspects they wanted to look at, stake, stakeholders' power, the other one was corporate characteristics. They identified number of variables under each of those aspects. They also said in the third that they are looking at the stakeholders and the stakeholders want sufficient disclosure and relevant disclosure. So they are relating to the quantity and quality. So there are three aspects stakeholder power, corporate characteristics, and then stakeholder relevant disclosure. Then the third aspect in a literature review is to develop a conceptual or theoretical background. In this study, they alluded to two theoretical backgrounds. First one is they said corporate characteristics explains how firms behave in a socially acceptable way. So based on that, they said legitimacy theory is one way of explaining this. The second, they said that the influential stakeholders have power 
and the way of explaining that is using a stakeholder theory. So they brought two theories into this talk. Fourth is to evaluate appropriate research techniques. What they did here is that they have three um, parameters they are going to look at. One is stakeholder power, the other one is corporate characteristics, and then the stakeholder relevant disclosure. Stakeholder power, they said they can obtain the data from a database except for audit independence, which they obtained from annual report. Corporate characteristics, they again said they can obtain them from a database except for um, over overseas listing, which they obtained from company annual reports. And then stakeholder relevant disclosure, the quantity of disclosure they obtained, the computer from annual reports that are disclosed, and then the relevance of disclosure, they did a survey, survey questionnaire and asked stakeholders what information is relevant and use that and combine the quantity and the quality to come up with a stakeholder relevant disclosure. So using this literature, they examine the study to find out whether the corporate characteristics and stakeholders power influence the social and environmental disclosure.